Alrighty, welcome back. Let's get back into her right quick. That's what I gotta do. I get right back into her. I've been sanding this side. Uh, I've been sanding this side. I've went through the whole side. I've had some low spots. I've been hitting metal. I've been hitting fiberglass. What I've done is went over and skimmed it again so I can try to get that flood to one level. Uh, it's a big job sanding that. Yes, it is, but I've been busting it off with the DA and it's been going fairly well. I'm on the hood right at the present moment. I have never finished the hood. Uh, the hood needs to be welded down the backside. It needs to fit up here. It needs to be connected to the hinges. There's a whole bunch of things that have to be done. But at the present moment, I do not like how the back fits. I'm going to push it up on there. I think I am. As I push that on there, you can come over here and take a look. I know it's hitting because of that, but I don't like that line that's going on there. That's not a very good line whatsoever. Not in my opinion, it's not. On this side, it is way better. This side is way better. I remember taking a chunk of it. I cut this hood off six inches on this hood, and uh, I got to stop and see if anything's holding me up before I start slicing and dicing. But I want to put some round rod on the edge uh, and the edge of the hood because that's what that's what generally what I like to do on that on this hood to make it less flimsy and also keep it in place. That one don't look bad. Just trying to get the hood where it should be maybe. I think that's fine. I think what I'm going to do is, this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to pull the hood forward. I'm going to apply the round rod to the edge of the cow and just tack it on. Then I'll push my hood on for the best fitment and then weld the round rod to the hood. Release, weld the round rod to the hood and then I'll release it as I've tacked it on to the cow. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to cut this little piece off this. I'm just going to see how long it needs to be. It's a sticky day. A little longer than an arm's length. Give me a little play with. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add, is I'm going to tack this to the cowl and then weld this to the hood and then cut it off. So I'm just going to make the shape and pull this in a little bit. This is a vise that I've had outside. It broke on me so I haven't been using it much. But it's nice to have in case I want to bend some ramrod. It's pretty basic. Pretty basic. Got the window fitting better on the 36. Got it fitting up there good. Looking good. Got me inspired. I'm just going to go up here. As I lay this on, on this round rod, if I lay this round rod on here, as I lay that round rod on there, I can see where it starts need, needs to be bent. It's right where my finger is going. You can see where it's hitting, where it needs to start curling. And that's what I'll do. It I'll just bring it down, hold my finger in place. And also, it's, it's nice to be able to, it's nice to be able to tack it down so it will stay in place. You can see where it's a little bit there. That's going good. Need a little more bend up here. Be careful, sweetheart. Baby's getting right up on the bench with me, man. She's devoted. You can see, I can see a little bit of crookedness in it, but. This round rod is the same. And hold that there. Hey. Hey. I'm going to take and cut that off a ways.
grab a little wrench. Hook it on like that so I can bend it. Fit. Not badly. Not badly. Ah. Behave now. Might not be so easy. But this will. You see right there where it needs to be bent down more. Why can't I bend that with that? Am I weak? Yeah, I think it's easier on this to be honest with you. Just a lot of back and forth stuff is what it is. And I want it fitting the best I can. It's fitting nice there. I have to bend that down more. Put it in place. Just trying to see if it fits best in place there. I'm going to cut it off a little bit. And then I start tacking it on. I'm just going to pull the hood ahead and then start tacking the round rod on. Um, I will, it'll be under pressure a little bit, but once I'm welding it to the hood, it should stay in place. I'm hoping. Now I'm just wanting to get, also with this round rod, uh, with this round rod on there, I can grind the edge of the hood. I can grind the round rod a little bit if it's not right. I got meat there to grind. Um, if I do not have the meat, you cannot grind it. With the round rod on the edge, I'm more than welcome. Or, and I'm not. I think I am. It's up the mountain this morning. Got some metal. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Got some metal. Uh, got the one right here. Got some metal for the floor for the race car. Uh, it's funny to call it the race car. <laughs> I never ever thought about that before, but, and also, like I said to Jolene, I said, well, the flathead would probably have more power. We should be running that, and, you know, but you know what? It's not even about that. It's about taking a, a flathead engine that we have and, and doing something fun with it, being creative with it, and going having fun. It's not about the winning part. It's about trying to make something that's that means you can go down the track and have fun with. And that's the end of it. Um, I'm not in competition with nobody except myself. Not right, baby. So it does not matter that way. It does not matter that way to me. Put this magnet back on her. Alrighty. Me glasses. I know I. What? Just had them, didn't I? Took them off. I thought they were the other ones. All right, I'm just going to tack this to the cow, and then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with the hood later. But what I'm really concerned about, yeah, probably should be cutting this thing off too, actually. Try to get ahead of myself a little bit. I want it to fit there. I want it to fit there. I'll come all the way around to. I gotta get a marker. 
I could pretend, but thank you, sweetheart. Jolene is looking amazing today, and also, thank you very much for the help. She's helping me today. Just want to get it in the center, sort of. Cut it off now, so I have to cut it off later. Can't get the grinder up in there. The hood has been a lot of work. And it's still going to be a lot of work. And the reason being, it has to go up and down. There's, you know, generally has to be nice on the, on the, I'm going to tack it here. That thing sizzling down there, was it? Hear that? Yeah. Ah. that to stay there. Kind of cheating or trying to cheat is what I'm trying to do. And that's put that down in there and not have it perfect before I put it in there. I'm trying to, but working or not working. It'll work. And if it don't, well, liking it. I'm allowed. Not really, but I want something that I can see that rubber hammer. Just trying to get it tight, and I want to push in on it. The rubber hammer wasn't giving me a wasn't giving me any confidence. How's that? Oh. we go. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little tacks or just little tacks. Uh, when I push the hood up against that and I weld that on there to the hood, that'll come off in that shape. The heat will make it stay there. Alrighty, I'm going to go to the other side. Turn that off. Let's cut another one. We already know that it's bend on it. This is just artsy stuff. You just keep going back and forth until you get your shape. And then uh, whether you like it or not, got to get my bench. And uh, you can you can stick it down in place. Like I cheated there a little bit. I consider that cheating a little bit. I didn't make it fit. So it dropped right in place. Um, and the reason I didn't do that because I sort of cheat it and kept just put it in there intact, pushed it and tacked it in place because I know once I tack the hood, 
Once I tack the hood in the front, I just tack the hood in the front. And when I start welding that round rod to the edge of the hood, that round rod is going to be dictated by the hood because of the welding and the heat. Ooh, that looks good. If I did not have that little extra that I made for my, I took a little extra there, you seen I took a little extra. If I did not have that little bit extra, it's so hard to manipulate that little piece there when you're trying to bend stuff. Ooh, that made it too long. But I do like that. It'll bend here. Bend it any which way you have to. straight and then a little bit more ba, 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 ba. trying to give a nice edge to the hood that we have it's basically what's going on trying to give a nice edge to the hood that we have Keep doing it until it fits. That's not fitting for me. That's fitting everywhere else, but just need some more bend right here. I'm going to cut it off now because it's getting to me. It's getting to me. And if it's too long, it's okay, because when I take the hood off, I can trim it. That's what I'm thinking to myself. Candy cane, anybody? Candy cane. All right, that was good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna push that down. I'm gonna take that little spot. There's a little spot of weld holding me off there. I wanna take that off first. I want a better read than that. <clears throat> I want a better read than that. All right, I got two cords going here. Unplug this one, unplug that one. Take this one get it done it's going to knock that off so i get a true read if i do not knock it off it's giving me that much more of a gap just be careful taking it off we did the we did uh, the 40 Plymouth the exact same way. We, we nailed the hood down to the car and then welded the hood together. We still have not taken the hood off the car yet and uh, reason being is we're not done yet. So that's why we have not taken it off. We filled it out together so it's we know it goes together. this way <clears throat> I 
So we're going to put, do more or less, we're doing the exact same thing to this hood. I'm going to nail it in the front, keep it still. And then I'm going to nail it to the round rod in the back. And I'll weld it up while it's on there. And then when, it come, when I cut it off, I know it fits. I know it fits. <clears throat> That's a great thing. That's a great thing. I know it fits. And that's basically how I know it fits, is I've welded it right to the truck, so when it comes off, it has to fit. Hopefully, we'll get some good weather coming. We've got some all right weather now. We had some, a lot of rain this morning, but uh, as, as things are going here, we went to the mountain, got, got ourselves some more metal to play with, and basically that's what it's for, to play with. Um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna make a floor for the race. I'm gonna show you how to make a floor in an hour, I guess, for your, for your car. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's hard to believe, but I will. I don't know if it'll take me an hour or not, but I'll do a little bit of running to get it. I have to mark that side. Jumped, uh, jumped up and uh, too quickly. But anyways, I'll take that and make a floor out of it, show you how I do it, and uh, so you can do it on your car or any other car that you want to at any point in the moment. So when you look at a project and you see no floor, um, <clears throat> it's nice because you don't have to cut it out. You just make your own. And I'm going to show you. up there a little bit there we go no I figure out where I want it the best where we're cutting it off that's what I'm gonna do Put it back, put it on, and start with it. That's basically what to do. If you're having a little issue with it, just put it on, start with it, and then try to go from there. Once you hit it twice, it don't move. <laughs> with the welder, that is. Just want to make it all fit. That's what I want to make I do. That fits like a glove. Want to hit this on this side, bring that in a little bit. Hope it stays. I'll just tack it a little tighter, won't I? Nose grind off easy. Be nice to hit it when it's got a little heat in it, but if I can get back in time. Wooden hammer. Mm, better be careful where I tack that one, I won't get it off. So I don't need it, just a little tack. Now you can go up there and take a look at that if you want, sweetheart. How I have that. Be careful going up the benchy poo there. Basically, I'm just following, following the steps, following the, the car itself, and I just get it tacked on there very lightly. And when it comes time, 
I can just knock them off, but now is the time I'm going to shove the hood up on. I don't know how I have to cut that off yet or not. don't know, but I'm soon going to find out, and it's no problem. i got the zip cut here. Just zip it off. But there's quite a, a gap in some of it, and some of it there's not. So that's why another, pe that's another reason why the round rod is going on is because... See, I'm hitting over here. I can't go back far enough there. Am I hitting on this side, baby? And I'm hitting on there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zip that off. i got two little pieces of metal on each corner I have to zip off on the hood. No, there's another piece on the other side because I can see it. Or I think I could. Maybe that's where it wants to be. I better check. Okay, we're hitting up there. This is where the hood gets straightened out a little bit. This is where the hood gets straightened out. Ooh. 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 So what it's showing to me, some of that hood's got to be cut off. Ugh. I guess. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. I'm hoping anyways. I'm still thinking that we're hitting on the other side a little bit. And also, hmm, hmm, what am I thinking here now? That almost should be on top of, it should be on top. That's what that should be. I'm going to cut it because it's not coming all the way back. But I'm thinking that the we might put the hood on the top of the ramrod. Not sure yet. Not sure yet. I'll know more when I cut it and play with it. And that's when I find out. Because it's not leaving me much of a gap there. gas cooking with gas now because it fits in the back or it does in the front and I don't know if I messed it up no I'm good good cut that back a little bit I'm hitting on this side in the round rod It's hitting a little bit on that ramrod. I'll cut this side and see what I have to do to get that side. This is the little stuff that, this is the little stuff that really slows you down. Not it slows you down, but lets you know that you're building something because it all takes time.
Excuse me, Fina. Excuse me, Fina. I want to put that on top of that. Or no. Yeah, I do. I thought you were sh shooing me, sweetheart. You're swatting flies. You're swatting flies. When I weld that to my hood, it's gonna sh it's gonna close my gap. I'm not gonna have any gap. So what I want to do is, but what I'm gonna want to do is put it on the hood and then cut it off and then <laughs> put the hood back a little bit on it. I think. I can get it up there and stay. Right there. This is what I'm going to do. This 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 round rod is right on my body line. I ha I'd have no gap there once I weld it to the hood when it comes to the front. So now I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the hood back a little bit, get the hood tacked on. So I'll put it I'll get it back here and get it on top of this, get it tacked on, and then I'll get it tacked on a few more places. Then I can cut it free and let it come forward. Tack. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you to do something for me, baby, when, you, when it, we get a chance. I'm um, just going to... Um, flathead screwdriver never be so hard to find in all my life, huh? I just want to... If, can you stand there and hold the camera and push the center of that hood back? If I take and just pry this up a little bit here. Push back. I don't get it once I get there, but to get it there to stay there. Do 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 do. Ready? Push, pushing in on it. A little harder. Feel myself sweating out like that. I ah, get my helmet on. Pushing on it. Okay. I don't know if that did anything for us or not. Probably not. I was back a little bit. Hey, that a girl. See it? That's her gap right there. See her? Got a gap. You're pushed back there a little bit. That's good. When I cut that off, um, it'll go forward. I'm gonna check and see if that's in the center. Jeez, it does look like it's in the center. It's good. We're in there a little bit. That gives us good. Awesome. In the center. Huh, don't look like it. Fits good there. Fits good there.
Looks good. That's her in a handbag. Let's do it. I'm gonna go with it. We're back a little bit. We're back a little bit on the hood. So when we pull it off and put it back where it should be, we should have our, our gap, our desired gap. I'm sweating and I can see that, what can I see? I can see that we're fitting here, we're fitting on the other side. that a little bit I got two tacks in it so we're at where we're at we're back here probably an eighth more or a little better we got a gap without a slide down we bring it back we're good here so when it slides ahead that that'll bring it down that slope and shut that gap up we're good take a zip cut up here It's one of the jobs I wasn't looking forward to, but once it's done, I guess it'll be okay. Just doing that for filling reasons when I get the hood down. It'll fill out better. Fit nice, sir. Now, this is where I get to. Good. Come to the other side. Tack that one on. Sometimes I find, or I have, I have taken round rod and put it on, and bent it and put it on the hood. And sometimes you don't get it just right because the the bend is you're making the bend or the hood bend to your to the way you want it bent and sometimes it does not give you a true read when that happens so that's why I put it on the on the buck itself and I call the buck the car that's why I put it on the car so it does not change we got something going on there now okay that's okay yeah we gotta get this tacked in so let's check the front that, that isn't going nowhere that isn't going nowhere Now, I want a, nope, don't want that at all. Ooh, <laughs> that's what I was worried about. <laughs> whoop, 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 that's something else. <clears throat> yeah, it's quite something else, that is. That picking the other side of the hood up. Got that inner construction that's in there. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, how am I going to do that? I'm strong. <laughs> I heard some strong, but I have to have that so it fits like that. I knew that was coming. Just want to check things over. The hood is one of the most delicate things. I've got quite a gap going on there. I have to fill that full with the with the welder. Yes, I will. I'll fill it full, and then I get to grind the round rod and grind that off to make it fit the way it should fit. We're back a little bit, so when we pulled ahead a little bit, I know we're back a little bit because of the weld mark we had. That should come up a little bit, I see, maybe a little bit on this part. Just gotta get that down, and it's gonna go down. Uh, like this. Get it. Stop it. I keep looking around for that damn hammer. I can't find the damn thing. The one that's my body hammer with a wooden handle on it. Huh? Yeah. That one that can come up a little bit on a few of those, I think. Eh, not so bad. Down there with Phil. That's fine. And this is probably why, uh, why I was ignoring it. <laughs> it was going to be a little tougher than probably than it should be. I guess that's one way to make it fit.
One may make it fit. I see. Needs more off it. Got it fitting tight there. We're still do where we should be, I guess. Have to build that up a little bit with the coat hanger. There's a few I'm going to knock off. I'm going to re-weld them because they were down just a little bit and I want to have it in place when I weld it. Also, now that I have that round rod on the edge of the hood, it didn't go that easy. But what I will say is I can grind that round rod a lot easier than I can ground, grind the hood off and weld to it and, you know, try to get it to help me. Grr. It up in place over there, would you? Beautiful. Beautiful. Just prying it around a little bit so it get less is more. That one wants to go down just a little bit. Trying to get more plumb. That's just basically it. I'll put a few more tacks on it. No, I'll probably weld it 90% welded up. There's a couple places I don't want to weld up because I might hit the truck and weld it right to the truck. I don't want to do that. But now I have the round rod on there. Now I'll go along and fixture to that to the hood. Weld it on there 90%, 95%, and then I can knock it off and finish it. And I can grind the, the, the got a big gap going on there, the coat hanger stuff. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. So I'll weld it all shut, and then I'll grind my round rod and whatever. I have to move my hood ahead a little bit to get my body line, my body gap. And I will use the round rod to do that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm going to do right there, man. Didn't want to do that. That hood wasn't fitting the greatest around each corner. I tried to push them around a few times there. But I'm happy with that. That come out nice. I'm weld that up nice. Grind that off. Don't like to hit my metal a whole lot. No, I do not. But that's a start to, to getting it to finish. That's a start. So I'll weld that all up. Have to glass that. Grind it, make it fit, 
Then we got to put a hinge on it, all that stuff like that. Alrighty, Jolene, you want to give away a hat or a shirt? All right, let's do it. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. When you're in, into doing body work, I'm into doing the body work right now. And for me to jump off and to try to do something different, to try to keep, you, to keep everybody um, entertained, I guess. That's what I jumped into. I was filling and, you know, I just put another skim on that. I was going back to filling. But we want to show you something other than that. What I have done is use the car as a buck and then so it stays in shape. And then I'm applying my hood to it. And then I'm going to weld the hood to the round rod. And then I'll cut it off. Hopefully it'll still be in shape and still fit. With the round rod on the edge, I have meat to grind and make it look nice. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Whew, she's a hot one. It turned into a hot one. I got lost in that for a minute, you know? I got lost in that. Go ahead, sweetheart. If I haven't said so, Jolene looks amazing today. She got her, she got her little ponytail in. It's crisscrossed and braided. She got her little ripped jeans on. Her little classy eyewear. Back off, boy, she's mine. It's Friday. I forgot to say it's Friday. Whoop, 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 whoop. I forgot. Wow. I'm happy it's Friday. 632. 632. No, it's earlier than that. But anyway, thanks for all the comments. 632 comments. You can't you can't kick on that one. That's a that's awesome. Roy Mazak. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Time to get to the ocean floor. Thanks for the video. <laughs> you are so right. It takes a long time to get to the ocean floor. Um, I'm probably going to do it once, twice, maybe three times. It, it, it takes what it takes, and that's what I do. It takes what it takes. I have coated that once on either side. I would say the driver's side went. They're both about the same, but uh, you have to go over it a couple times. I got one and a half gallon left. And that's where I'm at right now, and it's going pretty good. But Roy Mazak, you want a hat or a shirt of your choice, I appreciate you coming on the YouTube and making a comment. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully it's nice out. Maybe I'll make a floor in an hour, show you what I can do.